clock key. Okie dokie. So now we can go back and do that puzzle. I should really say, that's the only thing I've not figured out. Um, should I do it or not? But I think I should be fine. I think we can go a little bit before we have to save. Um, I think there's actually a save point coming up, so that's the most important thing. Right, okay, so let's look at this. What is this? Henry, Mildred, Scott. Hour, middle, second. Okay, so quarter past, ten past ten or ten past nine. Okay, so let's go to the clock. So let's say it's ten past nine. Okay, but we've got the key. No, no, no. Does it not automatically use it? The clock is stopped at 10, 10 51 and 15 seconds. The faceplate's locked. If it's closed, I can't touch it. The needles or the clock are like this. So let's use the key. There's a small clock at the end of key. End the end of the key. It was the home room tool to use. Right. Okay. So we need to get this. Actually, I'm just faster doing this way. There you go. That's it. Now if we come to the side, the scars from the past shall remove the nail that stops time. Push the clock. And we're in another room! Okie dokie. Right, so there's a save point. Um, I don't think there's anything else in this room actually, the more I think about it. Up health drink, we will take that. And let's make a save. Always rotate these saves, like I said all the time, you always do it, you never, ever, ever don't! So, that's that done. Okay, out of the room. I should have really checked the rest of that hallway, <laughs> but it's just like it's just only leading us back to um, where that person was standing, and I'm not going to say much about him just yet. But all the creatures in the game um, have something to do with James. They all have something to do with James. That that is the thing. They all have a connection. Right, hang on, bullets. Let's go up to floor three. Shooting up, I thought that was a door there. Right, I can hear the static just starting there. Yep, there it goes. But we're going here just now.
And ladies and gentlemen, that is Pyramid Head. Yes, the legendary monster of Silent Hill 2 and various Silent Hill lore. <clears throat> this is the original form he took um, before he was uh, like shown in the mainstream for the movie and of course the Homecoming game. But what is he going to be linked with James? And that's the thing, um, the way they describe Pyramid Head um, uh, later on and like of other things is like he uh, was up, oh, took damage. Um, he was like a demon of the darkness and stuff, um, but in reality, he's actually connected to James. Just make sure we've killed them. Kick up. They're going to spew. So yeah, they spew, right? And again, these monsters are connected to James. Why? Why would a monster spew, like, vile stuff at him? Why? That's basically his attack, it's spewing vile stuff like a poison. Um, it's affecting James. So there's the key. Fire escape key. So let's check in here in case there's anything else. Handgun bullets, we should have about 30 now. Um, let's just check these doors. Because we're as well just checking everything because we need. You're as well getting these items. Because look, we've came in here, there's a medipack. Uh, I don't even know where that fucker went. There uh, it's there, I've locked on. I killed that quite quick, I think. More handgun bullets. I'm actually going to be saving them for the, the hospital. Uh, if I can get through this area completely without wasting the bullets, I'll be happy. So that bit is closed off. And can we get down here? Yes, we can. So this should take us on the other side. That bit's boarded up. And if we go through here, I think these doors are locked, but we'll just double check anyhow. And here is the weight we need. I got canned juice. One of that door's locked. Um, there's nothing over here, and as you can clearly see, this is the other side. And now we've unlocked this. So that, uh, this will always be at the right hand side when we've went in at the left. So what we'll do is we're going to, I'll make the save, but we're going to now drop the can juice as well. Um, so that can get an art, it gets an item and a story as well, which links, very smallly, but links to Silent Hill 4. So let's save. Okay, there's a save. And I like this as well, it saves game time, doesn't do cutscenes or anything, it's purely how long you've played the game, um, which is 35 minutes. But I think my recording time's about longer, I think it's like an extra 10 minutes or something, um, for what I've checked. Right, okay, so we need to go to the waste bin, let's go here. Fucking go there, James. Right, okay. So, up, oh, wrong button, wrong button. After we do this, this is basically everything done on this side. Oh, I don't want to use that, use that. Yes, you can use it here, you can use it here. Look at the thing, James. There's a trash shirt, there's some kind of strange garbage stuck in the hole. 
So let's use the can juice. And now we've got to run all the way back downstairs and outside. <laughs> but hey, it's worth it. So let's do that. Let's go and get the item and we'll read the news extract. And here we go. So we found a coin as well as a news extract. The garbage bag is torn and the contents are strewn all over the I've got the old man coin. What's this? Some gossip magazine there? The police announced that today Walter Sullivan, who was arrested on the 18th of this month for the brutal murder of Billy Lachlan and his sister Miriam, committed suicide in his jail cell early on the morning of the 22nd. According to the police statement, Sullivan used a soup spoon to stab himself in the neck, severing his carotid artery. By the time the guard discovered him, Sullivan was dead from blood loss. The spoon died buried two inches in his neck. An old schoolmate of Walter Sullivan's from his hometown of Pleasant River said he didn't look like the type of guy who would kill kids. But I do remember that just before they arrested him he was blotting out all sorts of strange stuff like he's trying to kill me, he's trying to punish me, the monster, the red devil, forgive me, I did it, but it wasn't me. The schoolmate then added, I guess now that I think of it, he was kind of crazy. Now, Walter Sullivan is the main uh, bad guy of Silent Hill 4. Um, I won't go into too much detail because if I do want to do a Silent Hill 4 Let's Play, then you already know some stuff. But Walter Sullivan is the bad guy. And that's how 2 and 4 is connected. That little thing right there is how fans connected 2 and 4. Even though 4 was never meant to be a Silent Hill game. It got made a Silent Hill game at the, uh, like, close to the end of production. So, let's use the fire escape key. There's no fire escape outside, or uh, outside the door. Maybe they knocked it down when they built the building next door. I think I can get into the building next door if I go through the window in front of me. Right, so we're in the other room. Um, let's go to the toilet first. And that is one shit clog. Shit bog. Uh, I don't even know. Clogged shitter. That's what I was meaning to say. <laughs> will you take it out? Yes, I will. On you go, James. Better man than me. Looks like there's a wallet and some kind of memo in it. 13, right. 10, left. 07, right. 04. Safe combo. So if we go this way, it's for this. So let's do it. Right, so let's get to 13. 13. 10. 7 and 4. Handgun bullets, handgun bullets, handgun bullets, and another handgun bullets. So we are stocked. We are packing and a health drink into the bargain as well. Great. Hey, uh, there. Kill it. I think that's it dead, but I think there's another one. I think there's two down here, if I remember. Right, that one's broke. Let's see how many bullets we've got. Um, we have got 90! That is a good start. You know what? I'm going to top up my health. I'm going to top that up. 
think we actually just came through that door. I don't have a map of this area. Right, I'm not going to check that door because I think I just know what I better just check it. I think I actually came through it. No. So it would have been that one. Right, okay. That's okay. That's okay. Right, let's check that door. Check in here. Nothing. It's locked, there's a note stuck in the door. Dear Tim, I have to run an errand so I'm going out. I've left the house key with Uncle David. You know where he lives, don't you? The key is in the room near the first door, the first floor staircase. I'll be back soon as I can, so please watch the place while I'm going. Right, okay. Oh, there's a mannequin. So the mannequin, as you can see, has got like sexy legs, um, quite a silky presence about it. Um, it's locked, okay. Um, I hope you can hear somebody try to get out of door there. Um, like a silky uh, like appearance to it, and so does the other monsters, like a latex. A latex look. So. Turn around here, here's the map for this area. So, let's go upstairs. Just to rule this part out, nothing there. And I think by the next time I record this, I should have my pop filter, which is going to be cool. Can't wait to try it. Now we can't get out there. Oh, it's these wee monsters. I don't like them. Let's go, let's go in the first door. Um, nothing much, but that's the puzzle we're going to have to do, so we're going to come back here. If we came... Right, so there's a save point. If we came in here after I beat the game, you would find, I think, the White Prism. Um, or Chrism. I'll try and remember its name. I think it's White Chrism, which um, does for one of the secret endings. But it won't show up because uh, this this is a brand new playthrough and it would be sitting right here. Oh, there's a medikit. We will take that. I hate those little things. First aid. Okay. So, let's check the map. So, let's go straight on forward. <laughs> 